do I describe hypermobility syndrome? Imagine being in a box that gets impacted by the weather. On nice summer days, the box gets warm, happy and expands. And voila, you have more room to dance. But on cold days, the box gets upset, contracts and oops, you have less room to dance. Hypermobility syndrome is similar. The box refers to your health and body. On the days your health is good, you can dance more. And on days your health is bad, you can't dance as much. The difference is my box is opaque. You can't see the weather outside, but those with the transparent box can. It operates outside my consciousness, but within others. My space expands and contracts unpredictably. Just like that, my health operates outside of my consciousness. I can't prevent injuries as easily as a normal person. I have to work extra hard, extra strengthening, extra stabilizing work, extra discipline. And honestly, I'm thankful for it. Before this, I was told I would never make it or confirm dai liao. But dance doctors and physios are doing tons of research on how to make us syndrome-ridden dancers stronger and last longer in the industry. Before I found this way out, I felt trapped. Kind of like how we've all been trapped in this isolation. In isolation, we have limited abilities. We can't do what we want, when we want. Just like how I can't dance, how I want, when I want. I have to be creative in my constraints, just like how we've had to be creative in isolation. And of course, just like all of us, I want to come out on the other side, stronger.